Hello everyone, and welcome once again to The Heir's Lair. I am your host, Jonathan Taylor. And yes, I know it is somewhat unusual for me to post a video on a Wednesday, but this is not just uh, any Wednesday. This Wednesday, in fact, marks the uh, 49th anniversary of Bruce Lee's death. And I thought I would uh, use this opportunity to talk about uh, a quasi-biographical series of notes and uh, philosophical reflections uh, that have been uh, that have been offered by him and uh, uh, kept by and kept by others, collected in uh, book form, namely uh, "Be Water, My Friend," written either primarily or exclusively by his daughter Shannon Lee. In case you're wondering why I'm talking about this. Uh, uh, you know, now instead of waiting another year to talk about it on his 50th anniversary, or on the 50th anniversary of his death, well, I could have done that, but I don't know. Something tells me that Bruce Lee would have been more interested if uh, people just used about just used any opportunity to talk about or presented, uh, you know, things that uh, you know things that uh, elicited their interest, regardless of whether or not it was uh, connected to him. And that is what I'm. Uh, that was I'm. That is what I'm about to do here. So, <clears throat> what can I what can I say about this book? Well, I'll start with the aspects of this uh, presentation that uh, um, caught my attention. And the first one of these, ironic as it might uh, initially sound, was its promise of uh, of how it would handle uh, Bruce Lee's legacy as a um, uh, as a martial artist, i.e., sparringly. The idea here isn't. Uh, the idea here isn't that it's uh, not, that it's not at all uh, taken into account, or that it is ignored completely, because it really isn't. But um, talking about Bruce Lee exclusively as a martial artist is a somewhat overblown tradition uh, in discussions about him. His martial prowess is not really exaggerated uh, in any way, but it is overemphasized in the uh, broader discussions um, about him. And I re um, when 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 this uh, book said it would uh, uh, discuss those philosophies, that is really what I, you know, that is really what I uh, uh, wanted to see. I really wanted to see, uh, <clears throat> I really wanted to see this book explore, um, you know, explore his uh, explore his thoughts, his uh, opinions, and his um, and his uh, uh, intellectual uh, intellectual stances in a perhaps more uh, personal, more uh, generalized sense. And to my, um, and to my delight, this is exactly what this, uh, uh, what this book offered. And it presented not just the, the, um, not just the philosophical ideas themselves, as well as the uh, manifestations, which, uh, you know, which uh, Bruce Lee and at times others have also, uh, have also worked out, but it also presents uh, how these, um, you know, how these ideas first, uh, uh, first uh, took shape, and how they went on to develop into the, uh, you know, into these uh, manifestations. The, um, in order to do so, this book explores, uh, uh, explores Bruce throughout his uh, entire development. From his uh, time training under uh, Ip Man, I hope I'm saying that correctly, all the way up until his uh, untimely death. Uh, the events, however, aren't really told in uh, chronological order. They are told, rather it kind of jumps around uh, throughout not just uh, his life, but also the life of the author herself. She has a, she has a particular uh, plan she has in mind for each, uh, you know, for each individual chapter and for how she, does, you know, how she decides to uh, build upon that philosophy. In order to do that, she has to, you know, she has to uh, jump around not just throughout his life, but also throughout uh, her life and throughout her uh, reflections and uh, assessments of his work. And I have to say that uh, that second layer, um, not just of his, not just of his, not just of the presentation, but also of how uh, she. Uh, uh, comes to terms with, analyzes, and accepts her uh, father's legacy, really made this book uh, really made this book a worthwhile reading. That aspect, however, of the uh, of the interpretation by uh, by Shannon really really mostly comes to really mostly comes to light in the uh, second half of the book, 
The first half is more uh, is more directly, more personally. I would even go forward to and be, even be so bold as to say more intimately connected to uh, Bruce Lee himself and how he and how he went from a uh, brash and boisterous young man into the uh, master martial artist he is uh, he is known as today. Let me just say this development did. Uh, <laughs> Uh, did not come easy. It took a lot of uh, sustained and uh, focused effort and a lot of um, uh, serendipity and attention both by himself and the uh, people around him. Uh, Shannon herself uh, is very uh, is very attentive and very uh, understanding of the of the physicality that is uh, inherent in her father's uh, in her father's way of life and way of um, and in a way of uh, processing the uh, events around him, um, whether or not that comes and how that comes from how that stems from the attentiveness he gives to uh, himself, physically as well as emotionally, and to the um, environment and the uh, people around him. She knows how to she knows how to uh, present that very well, and all of the moments that are directly relevant to his um, uh, to his. Uh, uh, building his philosophy are presented in a in a very uh, detailed, very uh, involved manner. That also adds a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, narrative or uh, I would normally say narrative weight, but I think in this case it would probably be more accurate to say uh, uh, philosophical um, philosophical importance. And it is that uh, physicality that comes up again and again in how he. Um, and how uh, Bruce uh, discusses discusses and uh, processes his uh, uh, his philosophy, from all the mementos and uh, notes he left behind, through all the uh, ways in which he keeps himself active, even in what it, even in what is supposed to be uh, a moment or an interval of rest, and in how uh, tirelessly he seeks to develop himself, not just from uh, an, uh, not just by exploring uh, eastern sources, but uh, western ones uh, as well. For example, did you know that there was a lot of uh, boxing and fencing involved in his, uh, uh, you know, in his uh, martial art, Jeet Kune Do? That actually, uh, I already knew he developed his own martial art, but I didn't really know, you know, what uh, uh, what came of it. But yeah, he 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 really went uh, he really went uh, whole hog when it came when when it came to this, and he really. Uh, did his best to explore the uh, the human body, both his own and uh, that of others, and the uh, biomechanics it is uh, uh, it is capable of. Um, and really, that sounds like a, that sounds like a lot to process. And for the most part, it uh, for the most part it actually is. And in fact, Shannon herself describes some of the difficulties she uh, she's had when she was offered the uh, presidentship of the uh, Bruce Lee Foundation. And how she found, uh, and how she found going through his notes, a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky. At least until, until, she found uh, one particular observation her uh, father made that helped her, that helped open up a whole slew of revelations about uh, herself and her life. A little, a little piece of information that helped her. Um, process and deconstruct various uh, uh, traumatic or negative events uh, of her life, helped her realize some issues she um, uh, she never she never even knew she had, and also showed her how to deal with him, with, deal with uh, them, and how to rebuild and reestablish herself as her um, as her best self. That is really the high point. That's really the uh, high point of the book. Knowing that this, uh, knowing this pretty um, uh, expansive and at times uh, obtuse philosophy, can be um, can be broken down and can be presented in a manner that is very, in a manner that is more uh, approachable and more uh, generalizable to uh, everyone. Unfortunately, however, it takes a while for uh, Shannon herself to be uh, to be proficient enough to where she can really. Uh, uh, present that in the begin in the beginning at least her writing isn't really as uh, confident or as decisive as it really uh, needs to be and while the messages are uh, are there their presentation uh, for the most part is um, is lacking 
The first uh, first chapter in particular sounds like a sounds like a mix between uh, somewhat decent philosophical analysis and uh, sub mediocre self help advice. Yeah, not a not a particularly good look. Thankfully, though, she does manage to um, improve throughout the rest of the book. And while the and while these uh, and while this flaw uh, does uh, uh, does come up to the extent where I where I feel need to comment on it, it does not. Uh, it does not ruin its uh, uh, its messaging in any way. Overall, while uh, while I uh, have to acknowledge the flaws in its uh, in the presentation of the uh, of, of its message that uh, this book has, the actual message that it presents is told in a very um, insightful, very intriguing, very uh, engaging manner, and it opens a very um, uh, fascinating. And a uh, nuanced perspective upon uh, upon a man who is easily one of the most who possessed easily one of the most uh, underrated minds of the past 100 years. My final rating for Be Water, my friend, is a four out of five. And that was my review. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed it, then. Uh, uh, please uh, leave a like and maybe even share this video wherever you think other people will uh, like it as well. If you have anything you'd like to add to any part of uh, what I just said, the uh, comment section awaits your input. And if you want to see when my next video gets released, well then, uh, please subscribe. Ideally also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to keep you notified. Um, my own book, Heir to the Empire of the Next Generation, is available at most major book retailers under a master link in the uh, description down below, right past my social media, which I also suggest you check out should you feel so inclined. Until next time, I am Jonathan Taylor, and this has been The Heir's Layer.